Carry on. Yep. One. Why are you hesitating? Oh, I think I would save my dog. I don't. I don't know why I'm really hesitating. Cause I don't know. I feel like I feel like people would see me as a bad person if I said the dog. Mm, I'll save my dog. So, is your neighbor not worth saving? Well, he's no, not worth saving Brett, more than my dog. That doesn't follow. Is. That doesn't follow. <laughs> I save the dog. That means that my neighbor is worth saving, and I decide that I decided actively that he deserves to die. What? 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 Where did you get that? Well, you just kind of pulled that one straight out of your ass. Just what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like um, apples or oranges. Which do you pick? Oh, apples. Oh, Why so you, you hate, hate you hate oranges? <laughs> what? Well, no, that, that, that doesn't follow. You you have two choices. You have to pick one of them. That doesn't mean that you hate the one you don't choose. Yeah, yeah. If we were really going to take the cruel option, you could always just say, I'd leave them both to try. Yeah. They deserve each other. <laughs> uh, shall we carry on? I they went into the... in with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they went into they they went into the pool and then they couldn't swim. They deserve to die. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a dog. Money flashing I mean you, you would want to save the animal, so I would want to. I would want to save my dog. Well, we're animals. I believe we're all equal. I don't think humans have like a higher like place. So you think uh, dogs are more valuable than human beings? Do you believe no. in evolution? No. Uh, yes, I do. I do. Just, so just... She just said they're equal. You silly fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suspect that might have been a quote, mine maybe. Possibly, you don't fucking think. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, does he have like a team of trained quote miners who just go deep into the bowels of books and just chisel out the few words they need? All right, shall we carry on? Yeah. It's a matter of survival, but it's your neighbor's a, a primate, and you've got a canine, and you like the canine more than you like the primate. Would that be right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it's about the fittest. I mean, um, survival of the fittest? Yeah, pretty much. You said you believe in evolution. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of survival of the fittest. Yeah. If he drowns, he drowns. Big yeah. deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Are you an atheist? <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Any fetus is less human than an what adult. What did he say? Richard Dawkins. Right, um, Kitch, you might be able to address this. The, um, what Richard Dawkins said about the fetus. Um, ready, fetus is less than sorry, less it, human it, than an adult pig. Can you? I don't know if you can explain what. What do you think, Doc? Because well, you're in sort of a similar line of work to Doc, and so are you yeah. able to clarify? That? I just thought that'd be maybe your kind of line, Kitch. I'm not too sure. I think that may bring something to do with. Well, I'm, I, to be honest, I'm not, I don't know. Okay, sorry. Um, can I... Yeah. Did this... I missed a quote. Did this just turn into a fucking pro-life argument while I wasn't looking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Mother fucking New Zealand living bastard. And apologies to New Zealand again. <laughs> hey, fuck you, New, New Zealand. You brought him here. We have to deal with him. Uh, I've got a feeling New Zealand's going to engage in survival of the fittest with us soon. So. Ah, yeah, well... As long as they try and engage me in a drinking competition, I'll be pretty fine. All right, carry on. <laughs> so you don't think God exists? Um, more like I know. Are you comfortable talking about spiritual things? I don't know much about them because they're not really capable of knowledge. Once we're dead, we stop that. We stop. How do you know? Because it's just it's just what the facts are. Like when if if you stopped breathing right now, you'd be considered dead. Jake, if you were a car and your motor got turned off, that'd be right, that's inanimate, but you're a living, biological human being with a life of God in you. We are a mechanical the being because what? we have different parts that... Is there no life in you? Yes, there's life in me. That's your soul. Okay. No. That's your soul. It's like, there, man, and when you, like, die, it'll, like, go up into the sky with Jesus, man, and it'll be awesome. No, Ray. It doesn't fucking work like that. Yes, we have the spark of life. We have our brains, our hearts, our lungs, mm. our livers. 
We have our kidneys. We have all this shit that fires in tandem with each other. We can have thoughts, emotions, fears, hopes, regrets. We can have all this shit, but when the electricity in our brain stops flowing, we're fucking dead. We don't float off into some special place a million miles away to be, or to be with a bearded pedophile. We don't fucking go off into some fiery pit to be with, you know, the most terrible of people or, I don't know, people who just didn't agree with your particular brand of religion. No, we just fucking die. We cease to be, we break down, and we become fuel for other things. Is it that difficult to understand? That's another Apparently. good rant. We've had some good rants on this one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ray, can you handle Ray, some Ray questions? Out the worst They're pretty us. pointed questions. Sure. Are you a good person? Are you going to make it to heaven? Oh. Um, I would like to think so. Do I think I'm a good person? Yeah. Are you a good person, morally? <laughs> yes, I am. Do you think you're a good person? Yes. I, I like to believe so, yeah. How many lies have you told in your whole life? I wouldn't be honest. Oh, God, stop right here. Relevance. Can you be honest with me? Who's going to preempt this right here? And say that. Ray, have you ever told yes. a lie? <laughs> well, it's like someone's. Well, you should ask back us. Have you ever told the truth, Ray? And you're a completely honest person, aren't you? It's. Yeah. Or, um. It's... I think it was Reggie Finley once said, you know, have you ever baked? Does that make you a baker all of a sudden? <laughs> to me, I I would, whenever I hear that have you ever lied argument, I would just like to respond with have you ever told a lie? And considering most of them say, yes, I have, blah, 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 just point out they're a sinner. But on the rare occasions you get someone who says no, just simply ask, have you ever sat on both your hands and then masturbated with your right hand while shoving the index finger of your left hand up your anus and whirling it around going, woo! <laughs> Don't lie to me now, that's a sin. Uh, unfortunately, that's it. I, 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 Unfortunately, I don't think any of those responses work because the point is that Ray yeah, will admit to being a liar and a thief and whatever it is, and that's why he needs God and so on. So I, I, I don't think I, I don't I've, think I've, I've turning it around is going to work. If he asked me this question, this would be my response: that yes, I have lied. Yes, I have stolen when I was a kid. Yes, I have done some bad things in my life, but I also have done a lot of good things. And I don't think a good only I don't think a, a good a good God would send me to hell because of um and send me to hell for torment and all that because I've done some minor things, minorly bad things. Um and I don't think that a morally good God would create a a uh, cop out for me, that if I just accept him and love him like a sycophant, that then I will gain this sort of a uh, this sort of get out of jail free card. I do not believe a loving, wise God would do that, and I don't think a loving, wise God would deal in absolutes so fervently like Ray presents his God, because yeah. I think Ray presents his God as a very angry, jealous douchebag who's got absolutely no no uh, ability to empathize or to love and i mean love like as in properly love somebody what uh ray's god was doing is wanting it's the equivalent of emotional rape yeah. can i just point something out that was mentioned in the chat um, good and honest are very different things. A murderer can still be totally honest about how he wore his mother's skin as a fucking raincoat. <laughs> oh, true. This is true. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, I don't feel that it matters anyway because the whole point of this argument is, is to get to... Uh, you need to be forgiven by an in, an invisible wizard who tells you you can't do so and so and so but since we can't demonstrate that he exists it really doesn't matter mm. uh, but why sorry catch i'm sorry i was, I was, I was gonna say yeah. why does what, what why does it why just because this god has said that such and such and such is wrong why does that make it moral 
why is it not cowardly to do these things because you know you'll go to hell if you do if you do if you if you don't uh, why not can can you not just do the right why can you not just do the right thing but you think it's the right thing also, why is this god we right in germany and since we're going down the route of hitler was a bad person okay if you were hiding a family of jewish people in your attic and some blacks gays and gypsies in your backyard which is basically you're hiding people who should be sent to the gas chamber in the view of hitler <laughs> And you are a Gestapo officer comes and says, have you got Jews in here? Have you got Jews in here? Are you supposed to say, yep, three doors down, on the left, just make sure the little one tends to bite? No. <laughs> you lie, and you save their fucking life. Yeah. All right. Carry on. Yep. Yeah. How many lies do you think you've told in your whole life? Oh, quite a few. Countless. Uncountable. What would you call me if I told lots of lies? Countless lies. You'd call me a liar, wouldn't you? First, yeah, then you'd call you someone who's told thousands of lies. A liar? So what are you? I'm a liar. Have you ever stolen something in your whole life, even if it's small? Yes, I have. Have you ever taken something belonged to someone else? Of course. Sure. Yes, I have. It's called theft. So what are you? A liar and a thief. I'm a liar and a thief. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Which oh, God? every day. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Which what the hell does that mean, by the way? Have you used God's name in vain? Does not mean I, that you get. I, I honestly don't understand what it means. Have you used God's name in vain? Yep. God's name I in vain. I have indeed. It's called blasphemy. It's very serious to use God's name as a cuss word. You get a small piece of paper, write God on it, and then cut open one of your veins and just slide it on in there. <laughs> <laughs> but but God isn't his name. His name, actually, according to a good friend of mine who once studied, like he was a fucking religious zealot, and then he kind of realized he was being a cunt, and he came around and just kind of apologized for being a cunt, but that's beside the point. Anyway, he pointed out to me that in scripture, God apparently has 99 names known to humans, and one name that you only learn when you actually go up to heaven and meet the fucker. Which makes me think, which one is the right one? And which are which nine? Yeah, like if it's if we only know ninety nine of them, and then there's this other super special one, would it not sound to reason that ninety nine words in every language are taking the Lord's name in vain? Could I not say, perhaps, Pingu, Pingu Damit? Oh, Pingu, I've stubbed my toe. Is that taking God's name in vain? It could be my God. I worship Pingu. He's a cute little claymation penguin and he's awesome. <laughs> Time to move on. Yeah, I'll be I don't back believe in, a second, in blaspheming since I don't believe in God. So if you don't believe in God, how can you blaspheme? Well, if I don't believe in certain laws and still violate them, ignorance of the law is no excuse. So we're still guilty even though we deny a law exists or we even don't know about it. Ugh. One. Can I just say that I think argument, the law, really. he could use that, by that logic, Ray should obey every law everywhere on the earth just to be safe in. Uh, if that's going to be his argument there. Uh, does anyone listen to me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Yeah, it's just, I just have to... I appreciate your honesty, Jacob. Home. Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Why, oh, yes, God. I can I just women say right here heart. that how can you have how, that, that that doesn't even make sense? How that's like the literally the worst commandment I have ever heard ever. Well, our species in the history be, of religion, our species would be up the shit if we didn't look upon other people with lust. Yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought, um, you know, all these, you know, I, this is something I hear a lot from Christians, you know, when they're talking about gay, gay, yeah, uh, that it's, you know, it's great to be straight, you know, it's, you know, it's natural, it's perfectly natural, it's perfectly fine to be straight, and what is straight is to be attracted to the opposite sex, but Jesus said that if you look at a woman that lust, then that's a sin, but it's natural to be straight, but it's a sin, you can't win, unless you're completely asexual. Which is like a very small population of the. Uh, right. Someone's phone is going. Phone. Somebody hide their phone. 
please. I'm not quite sure what that was. That was if someone's got a phone next to you. Yeah, it's still doing it. Is it, is it coming from mine? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's carry on. Of course. Have you ever looked at a guy with lust? With yes. lust? Lust. Oh, yeah. Sure. Not recently. What makes, I have what, indeed. Why, why do I get this now? image in my head of Ray in the editing room as he's asking these women if they've ever looked at a guy with lust and just like jacking it? <laughs> just, uh, just, just, yeah, I don't I know why. Get to where you go, I bet she was I thinking of me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she was thinking of me. I know it. I can see the lust in her eyes. And just then, just with his little microscope and tweezers as he finally <laughs> finishes off just this tiny microscopic bit of jizz. <laughs> uh, let's, I think we should carry on. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's get this over. No, not yet. Yeah, that wasn't exactly. Uh, yeah. You're lasting after women, see? Of course. <laughs> Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Absolutely. So, Peter, by your own admission, you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterate heart. And that's only four of the Ten Commandments. What I'm saying to you is just not believing in hell doesn't make it go away. A judge must see that justice is done if he's a good judge. Believing in it doesn't make it magically appear. If we die in our sins, God will give us justice. Bible and says no thief, just because no God no says no it's just doesn't actually mean it's just. That's a very warped and sick view of justice. And God didn't do it. People claim God did it. Also, big difference, we simply point out a few things. God killed a lot of fucking people a lot of fucking times. The flood, for example. Let's see, lots of people died, died then when God went into a hissy fit and said, I don't like them anymore, fucking drive them. <laughs> and then he cast out two of his favorite little creatures out of the garden to live pain and misery for the rest of their existence. So, you know, hissy fit again. God's the abusive husband. He just beats you like a fucking dog and then just expects you to come running back because he loves you. He's the pure justice in the universe. I'm sorry, but as someone who has more than a single brain cell, I find that so deeply offensive I want to gouge out my testicles with a rusty screwdriver. <laughs> FEMA, no adulterer will inherit the kingdom of God, so Julia, if you died in your sins and God gave you justice because he's holy and perfect morally, you'd end up in hell and I'd hate that to happen to you. Man, would you sell one of your eyes for a million dollars? Probably not, no. Where the fuck did I come from? I value saying too much. So see how precious hey, your eyes are to you, how much more precious is your life? And you're saying, I don't care if I get damned from all that which is good. Of course you care. You've got a will to live. Now let me tell you something you know intuitively. You know that creation is proof of the creator. God's given you that light. <laughs> proof of the creator. <laughs> <laughs> Inside story. Guys, can I just simply ask, I missed a quote somewhere and... It was around the time Kish was like, what does that prove? What? What happened? But he said, would you sell one of your eyes for a million dollars? Um, no, I like having, having depth perception. Yeah. Would I take out one of my testicles? No, I like the symmetry. <laughs> would I cut one of my toenails? Probably. They'll grow back. What's, what's the point there? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have, a, I, have a, I have a whistleblower and it tells me that you know God exists and the reason you choose evolution is because it gets rid of moral accountability. Evolution... Oh, stop. Like what stop. the... Ray, you, even with your belief in God, you have proven throughout this video, especially some parts of it that actually got a lot of us heated, that you actually have nothing nothing to stop you from making yourself the most vile horrible person in the world and the reason why this video was made and it's very fucking obvious from the start that this video was made not to convince any reasonable person not to com convince anyone who's actually thinking about it it's actually to make money from the pitifully stupid gullible sheep that he has that are supporting this you know, and it's working. You can tell by the production values. The production values can say what they say about the content, but the production values in this are actually quite good, you know, with the opening and so on. And the music, it's quite good. That's not cheap. And that's come from a lot, a, a, a lifetime of just cheating and lying and that shit-eating grin of his. All under the guise of love and 
Christianity, and it's just uh, it's sickening. Yeah, can I? And like, I think I kind I, of went off track on that. No, I, I want to kind of add to that. I would just like to say that some of the most fucked up wars ever were justified by saying, you know, we have God on our side. Um, let's see, I'm not going to follow Godwin's law, I'm going to leave World War II out of this. In the Vietnam War, there were chaplains in many, if not all, squads. In World War I, both sides of that conflict had priests going through the trenches on a constant basis saying, God is on our side, the devil is on theirs, smite them and you will be righteous. So to say that believing in the imaginary sky daddy just makes you better. How does that explain your cuntishness, Ray? <laughs> How does that explain the fact that you are such a cunt that when you were born, a passing intern walked past in the birthing room and said, Oh, look, a cunt coming out of a cunt's cunt. <laughs> Yeah, but as, an exception. Yes. As as someone in the chat pointed out, if you if you want to escape moral accountability, you should be a Christian. Yeah. That's that's the whole point of the religion. That that if you just believe something amazingly stupid uh, involving an invisible wizard sacrificing himself to himself, <laughs> then Everything you do will be forgiven and you will be rewarded with, the, I don't know, yeah. an eternity of saying, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, or some shit like that, which is I, apparently a desirable thing, I, although I, I think I would prefer hell. Yeah, uh, probably is hell, but can I also just, yeah. I just, also just want to also point out how condescending he is right here, yeah. how absolutely insulting to he's actually really insulting a lot of he's insulting our intelligence he's actually suggesting that we know this is real we know that all that his we know that his childish fantasy is real and the only reason we're denying it is that, that we're that stupid that if we just plug put our our fingers in our ears close our eyes and go if i can't see you you don't exist and therefore, we can do whatever we want. It's just, and and he actually has the nerve to say that because we don't actually, and he has the nerve to, to say that we don't want to do whatever we want, and we're that stupid that if we just say, oh, we don't believe in him, therefore we can do whatever we want, and there will be no consequences. It's just mind-bogglingly stupid. And of course, so that, Ray. Um... You don't actually believe in God. You just claim to believe in God so that you will not be held morally accountable. Yeah. Did also, that work? Can I just, no. Uh, then stop using out. that argument. I'd like to point out to Ray if ever this video manages to filter to him, there are consequences if people who don't believe in an imaginary sky daddy on an everlasting life beyond death. If we fuck up, we have to deal with the consequences in the one brief moment of our existence. We have to deal with imprisonment, possible execution in some of the more backwards parts of the world. We have to deal with the people who we have hurt with our crimes, with our lies, with our thefts. And yes, I'm sorry, mother, I did steal that cookie. <laughs> we have to deal with what we did. It's part of our lives, whereas you, you just fucking clasp your hands, close your eyes, and think really, really hard to Santa, Easter Bunny, to Jesus, Jesus, the proper one is Jesus, and you just think to yourself, I'm totally sorry, I won't do it again. And the next time you crucify a puppy, you just clap them hands again, and you say, I won't do it again, for realsies this time, and the next time you do it, and the next time you do it, because you never, ever have to make amends for your problems. You just have to clasp your hands, and the ever-loving Lord who you bow down and worship will forgive you of all your sins and allow you passage to everlasting life and bliss and wonderment. 
Despite all those puppies you kneeled up on your wall. 